डियर लिस्नर वेलकम टू माय चैनल टॉपिक इज अपर आर्य अलगोदम्स एडिशनल एक्सरसाइजेज पार्ट टू इन पार्ट वन आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन बेसिक टर्म्स ऑफ असोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग लाइक आइटम सेट फ्रेकेंट आइटम सेट मिनिमम सपोर्ट काउंट सपोर्ट देन कॉन्फिडेंस ऑल्सो अपर आर्य अलगोदम विथ अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल नाउ दिस वीडियो डील्स विद द एडिशनल एक्सरसाइजेज ऑन ऑफ अपर आर्य अलगोदम फॉर एक्स्ट्रा प्रैक्टिस Example given, six transactions are there. This is a list of items that purchased in that particular transaction. Minimum support is thirty-three point, and confidence is sixty percent. Generate the association rule using a priori algorithm. Now, all these sixty uh, six transaction constitute of hundred percent support. So you require to find out how many transaction contributes to thirty-three point thirty-four percent support. So x by six. So x is nothing but how many records we require to find out. That is the transaction x by six into hundred is equal to thirty. So x equal to two. So two is our minimum support count. Step one: generating one item set frequent pattern. So first we generate the C one, and from C one we generate the L one. C one we take the item which are present in our transaction, and better way to take the items in ascending order. So buns, chips, coke, hot dogs, and ketchup. Their respective support count. So you require to scan the database and find out how many times bun is present, chips is present, like that. All items are present. Now, L1 is nothing but the filter version of C1 because L always represents the frequent item set. Now here minimum support count is two. So L1 contains all the entries having the minimum support count uh, minimum two or greater than or equal to two. So all items are qualified from C1 to L1 because every item have The minimum support count two, so C1 and L1 is similar. Next step is we require to generate this from L1. We generate the C2, and from C2 we generate the L2. Now step two, generating two item set frequent pattern. So in C2 we require to take the combination. So items are like that: buns, chips, cokes. So we take the combination of buns with chips, coke, hot dogs, and ketchup. Then chips with the coke, hot dogs, ketchup, coke with the hot dogs, ketchup. And hot dogs with the ketchup. So in this way, we take all the combination, and their support count is counted from our original database. So for example, bunch chips is not present at all, so its support count is zero. Now we require to take the entries from C2 to L2, which satisfy the minimum support criteria. So these entries cut, cut. Then only entries which are qualified having support greater than or equal to two. So this is qualified. That is two is qualified. Then three is qualified. Two is qualified and two. So in the entry in the L2 set, four entries are there. Now we require to generate the C3. But here after the step two, we require to use the a priori property that is the join and prune operation. Prune prune operation we use in every step. Prune is nothing but what. Whenever we take the data in L, we always take the filter data from C. That is nothing but our prune operation, join operation to find L K. A set of candidate K item set is generated by joining L K minus one with itself. Generate candidate set C three. Now we have in our hand L two. From L two we have to generate C three. C three means K equal to three using L two, because from L two we generate the C three and from C three we generate the L three. That is the join step. Condition of joining L K minus one and L K minus one is that it should have K minus two elements in common. So here for L two, first element should match because our we have to generate the C three that is K equal to three and we require to take the, the condition that K minus two element must be common of L two. So three minus two is one. So first element must be common. Now prune operation is same as that whenever we filter the records from the C that is candidate set to the frequent item set. Now L two is buns hot dog, chips coke, chips hot dog, and coke and hot dogs. From the table we can find out that only second and third record having the first word common. The first and fourth record don't have, so we can't make the combination of that. We require to take the pruning of op uh, pruning of op uh, join operation that is L two join with the L two. So chips and coke and chips and hot dogs. See the chips and chips that is the first word should be same. Now of output of join is. Chips, Coke, and hot dogs to generate the C3. So this is L2. From that L2, we find out which first word is common, and we take that combination only. So we are getting the C3. C3 same copied as into the L3 because minimum support count condition is satisfied. Now here only one record is there, so we can't generate the 
C4 and then L4 that is their fine element that is null element. So we require to generate the association rule from the L3 only because we always generate the association rule from the frequent item set not from the candidate item set. So chips, coke and hot dogs. So chips, coke and hot dogs confidence is given as 60%. So we can write down these three items in variety of combination that is chips, cokes, hot dogs means the customer who purchased chips, cokes they are likely to go for the hot dogs. After that we require to use the confidence formula. Confidence is nothing but what? The customer who purchased the chips and coke likely to go for the hot dogs. So this is a formula that chips, coke, hot dogs divided by chips and coke that is the left hand side. I already uh, in the first part I have already taken in detail the support and confidence and how to calculate the support and confidence from a table. You refer that table, uh, you refer my video one for the support and confidence calculation. Now this is a numerator will always two because the count of chip, coke and hot dogs we take from the L3 and which is two. Now for this respective count we require to check CRC is count. We require to check the table in which chips and coke may be repeated uh, is repeated for three times. Chips hot dogs repeated for two times. So in this way from previous table we require to see the count of each item. And after that we are getting the answer in the percentage. So support is 60%. So only rules are qualified which having this confidence greater than or equal to 60%. So first, second, third and fourth rule get qualified for the association rule mining. This is the second example. Eight transactions are given. Minimum support is 30%. Confidence is 75%. Generate association rule using a priori algorithm. Now here, total eight transactions are there which constitute the 100% support. So how many transaction constitute the 30 percent that is x by 8 into 100 is equal to 30 so we are getting 2.4 but 2.4 we can't take we require to take the that is a round that is a 3 so minimum support count here is 3 first step is as usual that generate the one item set frequent pattern five elements are there that is a b c d e we count uh, how many times that item is present from the original database and we are getting that count now all items are satisfying the minimum support count that is 3. So all items are directly copied from C1 to L1. Generating the two items at frequent pattern. So we require to take the combination of A with all elements, B with remaining elements, C with remaining elements and D with remaining elements. So two item set is AB, AC, AB, AC, AD, AE, similar with B, similar with C and similar with D. Now here all items are not copied from C2 to L2 because some of the uh, combination are not satisfying the minimum support count. For example, minimum support count is 3. So this is not qualified, not qualified, not qualified, sorry, qualified, not qualified, not qualified. So we are getting this combination. Now, when we generate the C3, we require to use, that is from after the second iteration, we require to use the a priori uh, property that is a join operation. So join operation means we are going to generate the C3 in which K equal to 3. So from the L2. So you require to join L2 with L2. So when we join L2 with L2, we require to take, uh, we have that condition that K minus 2 element must be in common. So K equal to 3. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So 1 element must be common. When we generate the C4, at that time condition is that 2 elements must be common. So in this way, it will go in the further propagated way. Prune operation that is prune operation we are use in every step that whenever we take the records from C to L in a filter way. The filter is nothing but the minimum support count. L2 these are the items support count. Now we require to take which combination in which first item is common that is AB AD that is ABD, ABA that is ABE, AD and A that is ADE it is written here. Next we check only with B, BDE other combination is not possible even the combination with D is not possible so we are getting the 4 this is L2 from L2 we generate the C2 C3 and C3 we take the L2 only one item get cancelled because its support count is 2 now next we are going to generate the C4 so when we generate the C4 your first two items must be common because now K is equal to 4 and K minus 2 element must be common so 4 minus 2 is 2 element must be common so we re we can't take AD because we can first two elements are not common. So only two transactions that is ABD and ABEs are eligible to do the 
C4 operation. So ABD and ABE. So first two are common. So ABD is output. Support count is 2. But when we convert from uh, C4 to L4, we are getting the null record because it is not satisfying the minimum support count. So four item set is null. So we require to extract the rule from A3. Now here three combinations are there. So we can expand all the rules or we can expand any one of the rule. It's all depend on us. I am expanding the rule ABD. Like previous problem, you require to write down the all combination. Then this confidence formula that is numerator will be same because it is nothing but the word count of A, B and D divided. So that's why the numerator is common and denominator is nothing but the count of left hand side. In this way, we are getting 75, 75, 75 and remaining 60, 50, 50. As our confidence is 75 percent, only first three rules get qualified. What is the meaning of this? That you keep A and B things together so that customer will go to purchase the D. That is, you keep the A, B, D close to each other. So the customer who purchased the A and B, they are likely to go for the D. That is nothing but the meaning of the association rule. Thank you. So this video is all about the extra problems or extra exercises on the a priori algorithm. In the next video, I am going to explain the various ways how the a priori algorithm can be improved. Thank you.